Good morning, everyone. Welcome to my channel. My name is Cassandra, and I'm going to take you through a power yoga morning flow. So this is a class to get your heart rate up, to strengthen and tone your muscles, and to just give you that short boost of energy in the morning that will hopefully carry you through the rest of your day. I would say because it is more of a power yoga class, this is going to be an intermediate level practice. No props are required, and we are going to start laying down on our backs, either in Shavasana or your reclined bound angle pose, Supta Baddha Konasana, soles of the feet together, knees apart. And I like to just reach my arms up overhead, starting to open up in our shoulders, in the upper back. So some mornings it might feel best to take things slow and stretchy, but there are some mornings where we want a little bit more intensity. And that can be a really great way to bring some vitality into our body, to clear out the cobwebs of the mind. So just take about five more deep breaths here, whether you're in the hip opener or just with your legs out in front of you. And as with all of my morning yoga practices, I want you to really start thinking of the intention you want to set for the day. If you had your legs straight in Shavasana, go ahead and bring them in this butterfly pose. And those of you who are already in this butterfly pose, you might want to just create a little bit more space between the soles of your feet so that they're not necessarily touching. We're going to interlace our hands behind the back of the head, engaging through our core here. So as you inhale, hold. And on the exhale, curl head and shoulders off the floor. You're gonna hold the crunch as you bring your knees in, open them out, and lower all the way down. Inhale, and exhale to lift. Inhale, knees together. Exhale, knees open. Inhale, lower down. Exhale, lift up. Knees in, squeeze, open it up. Breathe in to lower. A few more like this. Exhale, lift, hug in, open out, and lower. Two more. Lift, squeeze in, open the legs, release. Last one. Curl head and shoulders up, squeeze through the inner thighs, open them back up, and release on down. Now go ahead and bend your knees and float so that your shins are parallel to the floor. Push your lower back into the mat and align your knees directly over the top of your hips. You should feel your abdominals engage just from doing this pose. As you inhale, lift head and shoulders off the mat. We're just going to hold here and go ahead and straighten your right leg. Let it hover a few inches off the floor and go ahead and bring that right knee in. You're gonna feel this one. Go ahead and switch sides. Lengthen out through your left leg. Inhale all the way back, one more on each side. Right leg straightens. Stay up nice and lifted. Bring that right knee in and switch. Left leg out. Bring it back in and release. Relax your arms by your sides. Feet should be hip width distance apart. Let's lift on up. Push into your heels, up into your bridge pose. Setu Bandha Sarvangasana. Hug in through your inner thighs. Push into your big toes. Squeeze and lift.
and exhale, release, roll all the way back down. Cross your right ankle over the top of your left knee and before we pull into our reclined pigeon pose, keep pressing your knee down and find your one-legged bridge pose with this variation in your legs. So try to push your hips up and at the same time you're trying to press your right knee and thigh down without tilting your pelvis. So notice how one hip wants to dip lower than the other. Try to keep them at the same exact height. Push into your heel, inhale, and slowly come down. Now go ahead and reach through with your arms and you can pull your left knee in towards your belly. So relax a little bit here, just take the stretch. Soften your shoulders, your neck, your jaw. And just bring your left foot down to the mat. We'll take our half happy baby pose. Ardha Ananda Balasana. So holding on to your right foot with your right hand, keep your elbow to the inside of that leg as you both push your right thigh out and also drag the knee down. I like to just let my left thigh flop over to provide a bit more of a counterweight. Feel your breath go all the way down into your low belly. And let's release. Cross your left ankle over the top of your right thigh this time. Again, feel that knee press down. Keep your hips leveled and go ahead and push into your right foot. So a one-legged bridge pose with a pigeon variation. Really testing your balance here. Keep your hips leveled. So even though you're pushing your left hip up, you're trying to press your left knee down. And relax your shoulders and your neck. Squeeze into your glutes. Lift up a little bit higher. And carefully release down. Reach with your arms and start to pull your right thigh into your belly. One more breath as you squeeze it in. And let's find that half happy baby pose. Set your right foot down, hold onto the left foot with your left hand and press that thigh open as you drag the knee down towards your uh, left shoulder. And you can let the right thigh relax. One more big breath here. And let's release. We're going to rock up, finding our tabletop pose on hands and knees. So palms under your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. Just cat and cow. Getting any aches and pains out of the spine as you inhale, drop your belly. Lift gaze. Tailbone up. Exhale. Reverse this motion. Push into your fingertips. Really feel your head drop and keep going. No need to rush through these motions here. Really feel out upper back, mid back, low back. And one more full cycle. And Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. You might need to walk your hands a couple inches past your shoulders before tucking your toes under and lifting your hips up and back. Whatever movements feel good here for you in the pose. Let's reach our right leg up towards the sky, stoking that fire as you exhale, tap your right knee towards your nose, shift your shoulders over your wrists. Inhale, stretch it up and back. 
Exhale, same thing. Try to close the gap between your belly and your thigh. Last one, inhale up. Exhale, squeeze it in, look past your hands and step the right foot through. Let your back knee come down to the mat. Anjani Asana, your low lunge, push into your feet as you lift on up. Be really mindful of the curve in your lower back, lengthen your tailbone down, engage your abdominals here. Belly is strong. Roll and relax your shoulders down, just stretching into the hip flexors, maybe looking up if you want to challenge your gaze a little bit. And we're coming from here into our Vashisthasana side plank. So tuck the back toes under, lift your left knee off the mat, and we're going to pivot. Stacking right arm over the left, maybe one leg over the other. Hug in through your inner thighs. And now pay attention to your hips again. Notice if that right hip is rolling back. We don't want our pelvis to be facing up towards the ceiling. Keep everything facing towards the side. Feel that heat build. Looking down to the floor, right hand comes down, lower chaturanga. Ordva Mukhashvanasana, upward dog. Exhale, lift your hips up and back. Second side, left leg rises, straight and squared. Exhale, knee to nose, bring your shoulders over your wrists. Inhale, up and back. Exhale, squeeze it in. Last one. Pull it through, look past your hands in order to step the left foot in between your hands. Right knee comes down to the mat on Janiyasana, low lunge. So lift out of your lower back, draw the floating ribs down. So rather than relying on your existing flexibility points, we're trying to get into those areas that are a little stiffer, a little more awkward maybe. Keep reaching your tailbone down. And as gracefully as you can, find your Vashisthasana side plank. So right palm should be under your shoulder. Lift the back knee off the floor and start to pivot and roll so that you're stacking your left leg over the right one, left shoulder over the right. And notice your left hip this time. It's going to want to roll back. Push it forward a little bit. It will make the pose harder. I'm looking wherever works for your neck. Push your hips up to the sky. Plank pose, Chaturanga as you lower halfway. Upward facing dog, and we all meet downward dog. Push into your heels. Let your head be heavy here. And we'll find our ragdoll fold at the top of the mat. So just walk your feet forward. Take as many little steps as you need. Don't worry about having straight legs here. Just let yourself dangle. So building up some heat, some strength, some power in your body. How do you want to channel this throughout your day? What is your intention this morning? Release your fingers down towards the floor. Bend your knees a little more just so you can toe heel your feet closer towards one another. Big toes touching, heels about an inch or so apart. Utkatasana chair pose. See if you can touch the floor with the tips of your fingers and keep your hips at this height as you just lift your chest and your arms up. Rock your weight back into your heels. Sink down even lower. Hug your inner thighs towards one another. Building up a little bit more heat. We're not here forever, I promise. Keep this strength. Let's bring our hands at the heart. We're coming to Navasana Boat Pose. So all the way down. Once your hips touch the floor, go ahead and lift your legs up. This is, to me, one of the hardest poses in yoga, at least for my body. So you can always bend your knees and even hold on to the backs of your thighs. What we're trying to find here is to eliminate this kind of rounding. Think of rolling your shoulders back and lifting your chest up high. Legs can be straight or bent. You can even reach your arms up overhead. That's too much for me right now. Big breath in here. 
and release. From your staff pose, Dandasana, just find some length through your legs, through your spine. And let's find a seated twist, variation of Matsyandrasana. As you bend your right knee, you're going to cross that right foot over the top of your left thigh. And I'm going to hook the left elbow to the inside of my right thigh. Make sure all four corners of your foot are grounded here. As you inhale, find some length and maintain this length even as you twist and exhale. No slouching, no rounding forward. One more big breath and exhale to release. Let's switch sides, right leg is straight. Bend your left knee, go ahead and cross that left foot over the thigh, find some length. Hook your right elbow to the inside of that thigh, left hand back behind you. Inhale and exhale allows you to twist a little bit deeper. And the more you're able to draw your navel back, the deeper you'll also find yourself in the twist. Just notice if you're rolling on the outer edge of your left foot. Try to push into your big toe. And release facing forward, extend the legs. Just to get a little bit more of a release in our thighs and in our hip flexors, go ahead and bend your right knee and bring both thighs parallel to the longer edge of your mat and see if you can get the top of your right foot flat to the floor. You can lift, curl your tailbone under before setting your hips back and you might just start to bring your arms back behind you here until you get a nice stretch into the front of that right thigh and right hip. If it's a lot for your knee or very uncomfortable for your knee, come out, skip this one. We're not here for very long. You could always instead do a butterfly forward fold or just any other seated pose that you prefer. Just two more breaths here, reaching long through that right knee. And let's come on up. Carefully switching sides, right leg is straight. Bend into your left knee. So again, I'm trying to get the, uh, the top of that foot flat on my mat with my shins parallel to the longer edges of the mat. Lift, tuck under before setting your hips down and then begin to lower. And you'll probably find that one side feels a lot easier than the other. Two more breaths. And let's rise on up. Release that leg. Last little pose here. As you bend into your knees, grab a hold of your big toes with your two piece fingers, bring those feet back. And as you widen your knees, tilt your weight onto your tailbone, onto your seat, and you might just hover here trying to balance, or you might see if the legs can open up. Relax your shoulders down. Big stretch here. Try to push your chest forward, just like in our boat pose. Relax your hip flexors and release. Come to take a seat in any way that is comfortable for you here. Lengthen out, roll your shoulders down and away from your ears. Let's join our hands, Anjali Mudra at the front of the heart. And take some cleansing breaths, inhaling through the nose, exhaling out the mouth, just letting go of this practice. Set your intention in this moment. Maybe choosing one word 
that captures how you want to feel today. Or one word that captures what this class brought out in you this morning. And we'll close with the chant of Om. Inhale to chant, big breath in. Oh. Namaste. Thank you so much, yogis, for doing this morning power yoga class with me. I know we had some challenging poses in here, but hopefully it helps you feel really energized and ready to take on your day. If you'd like to slow things down a little more and get really clear, grounded, and focused on your intention, I would recommend this affirmation meditation right here. Great to do in the morning. Please subscribe, and hopefully I will practice again with you tomorrow morning. Namaste.